Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This video is sponsored by Cano Computing. <laughs> Look what showed up on my doorstep. A Harry Potter Cano coding kit. This thing is absolutely amazing. And we are actually going to go through this thing and I'm going to show you how cool this is, what a cool Christmas present this would be for your kids if you have a chance. Anyway, let's go through, let's open this box up and I'm going to put the wand together and then we are going to go through and actually create magic on screen. Let's open this thing up. This package is absolutely brilliant, obviously. Um, just everything about it screams uh, professionalism, which I do like. I like that bit about it. A very nice box, obviously, by Cano. They knew what they were doing when they put this thing together. So inside the box, you're going to open this up. And right at the top here, you find your uh, instructions on how to put the wand together. Obviously, we're not going to use those because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pretty intuitive. And so right here, you have the main wand. Your, uh, that's what you're going to be using. And then they have a circuit board right here that you're actually going to put in the wand. And this is the brains behind the operation. This is what makes the wand work all together and everything. So that's kind of cool there. Um, this is just the cover that goes over the circuit board. And oh my gosh, batteries. And not one, but two sets of batteries. This is absolutely absurd. I've never heard of such things. So let's go ahead. This is the button right here. We are going to take this button and we're going to put it in this wand right here. And that makes sense, obviously, because that's where the button goes. And then this, the circuit board, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the batteries in first. Positive side goes to the positive side. Once you do your maths correctly, negative side goes to the negative side. And I'm pretty sure I have this in correctly because all the lights turned on. So that's always a happy day when that happens. So let's go ahead and stick this in its spot. We're going to plug it down in here inside the wand. Super simple, really. And then we are going to put the cover on. Doink, 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 doink. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. I think we actually have this thing complete right now. Wow, that was super easy. That took what? like six seconds to put this thing together. That is so awesome. Okay, and the light is blinking, which that's good. That means we have everything incorrectly. They also provided a lanyard, which I am not sure we're gonna use the lanyard just because, well, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be throwing this thing around, but it's a nice feature to have because in case you have those crazy kids like on our Wii uh, remotes, our kids throw those things everywhere and I'm always afraid of our new 65 inch Vizio TV getting broken and I don't want that to happen um, to my tablet when they're using the wand to make spells happen and make uh, things float around like feathers and jelly beans and stuff. Anyway, let's check out what's, inside, what's else inside the box here. Oh, they got stickers! That's cool. So they got a ton of stickers, um, some other stuff. Oh, and then this. Oh, okay. This is the main shenabane again. Okay, this is your quick guide with your wand motions, it looks like. So in case you need to know the basic wand motions from Harry Potter, they gave you a quick guide here to help walk you through all the simple ones, uh, the stupefies, the wingarium leviosa, and <laughs> all those other types of wand movements. That is so cool. They've really thought of everything to put in this package. So it's really enticing and really captivating, especially for your kids. This is ages six and up. So really, I was able to do it, so a six-year-old could do it. That's that's pretty much what we're getting at right here. Okay, so let's get this thing loaded up, and let's open up the app, and I'm going to show you how this thing actually works in-game. Okay, I have the app downloaded, and we are good to go. I have my wand ready, and it looks like this is going to teach you how to code based on little challenges that we're going to go through initially. And those challenges are there because they need to teach you the basic building blocks and steps on how you're actually going to make things move on screen in relation to your wand, which is very cool that they've done this and able to do this through Bluetooth. So the first one, the very first one right here is going to learn how your coding on works. We're going to go ahead and hit start and it wants you to place it uh, center of the screen and push the button. Okay, so now you can actually move the wand around in real life and it moves on screen, which is kind of fun. Obviously, you can drag it anywhere you want. And the first, the very first challenge, so aptly named the Owlery, because of course, 
Night Owl. Anyway, so we're going to deal with the Owlery, and we're going to mess around with this. And this is where they actually start to teach you the building blocks of the game. And if you ever want to recenter your wand, all you got to do is point it at the center of the screen and push the button, and it'll recenter it on the screen. Did you see that little cursor up there by the owl? It recenters the wand on the screen so that you're back to center when you're pointing at the screen and stuff. So there's that. Anyway, so read the instructions up here. Anyway, so drag. You go, it's step by step. It's really easy. So next, so pick up the block with your mouse or finger and drag it to the middle. So we're going to take the wand block, and this block will control the whole wand. And this block right here in here is what's going to change the owl's color. So wave your wand in an upward quickly fashion and it'll change the owl's color. Perfect. Oh, it changed it to red. That's awesome. Okay, so that worked out great. Next, next we're going to change it to a different color. So let's try, um, yeah, we can change it to a different color here. Let me drag this block down and let's try changing it to, um, let's say we want to change the owl color to blue. So we just go over here and select blue. And that'll be awesome. So let's try using it, doing the same thing again. Let's go over to that. And when we swipe up with the wand, changes it to blue. That's pretty rad how that worked out. Um, so that's pretty simple. It basically teaches you the one simple movement and it teaches you how to change the color of the owl just by putting those simple building blocks inside the code, which is kind of cool. I remember back when I was in school, one of my favorite classes was Visual Basic, where you actually learned the step-by-step -step process of how to code, um, opening up brackets and tabs, and everything that you put in that bracket is affected until you close out of that bracket. That's the basic concept as well. Same exact thing here. Let's open up. We get another mystery item, it looks like. <laughs> I don't know what the flip that is either, but that is awesome. Okay, so next, we're going to go to the next challenge. Oh, change the color of the potion. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. This is a good one. So this one actually has more steps. We're going to make the potion change colors, and we're also going to make the cauldron jump up and down in this one. So this should be interesting. So next, so drag the wand block. Okay, we're going to drag it down here so we can see it and read the instructions. Use an object tint block. Okay, so this is what's going to change the tint. It's going to change it to red. But I guess what we want to do is we want to have it change to a random color. So instead of red, we're going to move the random color block over there. That way it changes to a random color whenever we wave the wand upwards. So that's let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Check that out. So it goes green, blue. It just changes random colors. Purple, just by a little flick of the wand there. That's kind of cool. I feel like I'm actually like what are those orchestra masters called. I feel like I'm controlling the world right now. This is fantastic. All right, so let's go um, make the cauldron jump. Okay, so in order to make it jump, we have to add this block right here. Um, hit the strength button right here, and then that will actually increase, I think, how far it's going to jump, I'm guessing. So let's go to 400, because we really want this thing to jump. Perfect. And then let's give it a good wave here. So it says apply force when you move the wand up. And look, it looks like the cauldron is jumping now and changing color at the same time because all those things are actually inside that little box. So they're going to do everything there. So that's actually really awesome. Let's change it again. Let's go like, let's see what 100 does here. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, that makes sense. That's perfect. Okay, we're going to come out to the main menu here, and I'm going to show you around. Obviously, you have all the challenges that you can do. Um, the Owlery, we nailed that one. The other with the Cauldron, that was cool. So, but they have uh, the Explore, which includes creations that have already been made by other people, which is kind of cool that people have created these types of creations. They also have a playground where you can go and actually play with stuff that developers have put into the game. There really is no limit to the amount of things that you can do with this. And it's kind of cool that you can make feathers float, broomsticks up here. You can do like, you can do hundreds of different things. Um, look at these the code behind this one, ex for example. I mean, the amount of code that was back there, you can look at the JavaScript, you can look at all the code that they used to make this. So you can actually copy that. But we're going to try to make this feather fly using <laughs> the Wingardian Leviosa spell motion. Okay, so obviously, let's go here. It uh, looks like a little floop and a floop. Okay, we can definitely do this. Let's make a big screen. This is going to be the ultimate test if we can make sure this if we can make sure this happens. So in order to do one of these spells, the funnest part of the game, you're definitely you have to hold down this button right here and go boop. 
Oh crap, oh crap. Boop. Dude, like, got it. First try. Oh my gosh. So you can basically control what the feather does. And if you want to release the feather, I think all you got to do is push the button and it comes back down. So let's try it again. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. This so works out so well. And you can control the feather and you can do different things with it. Let's go to another one, actually. That's pretty cool. Let's go back out here. Um, let's see what the jelly bean one is. Let's go check out the jelly beans. I think you make them grow? Yeah, it looks like, uh, just by looking at the code here, it looks like you make them grow. By waving your coating one up, then shrink the jelly beans by make waving your coating one down. Okay, we're definitely gonna try that. <laughs> oh crap. And then if you go back down, it shrinks them all back down. So just wave them up. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Just wave them back down. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So you can actually code this to make this stuff happen, but I kind of like the playground where you just mess around with stuff on screen. But the unique part about this is you're going to actually have your kids be able to code things and make things happen based on what they want it to do. So it's kind of interesting. Let's go back out here. Cano offers these creative coding building kits for people of all ages. The Harry Potter Cano coding kit has changed the way that my kid will learn. Being able to learn code and see that code in action in a simplistic way is something that I love them to be able to do because sometimes kids get too focused on just watching things and not actually doing things. So this will give them a chance to do something as well. Be sure and try to get your kit in time for the holidays. I'll put a link in my description below. Click on that link, you can go right over to their store and buy this kit so you can play the exact same game that I've been playing this whole video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by the video today. Take it easy and good luck.